Hi, what's up beautiful people it's in Arma. welcome to the channel today we'll have this very interesting video and it's titled joy behar is gone the view host brain fart is only gonna get worse <laughs> wow wow awesome i'm excited to check this one out you to gotta see let's check it out okay some of you need proof that joy behar's mind is gone it is lost this is one of the funniest ones where the hispanic lady talks about immigration and you'll never guess now no scrubbing ahead but take your guess now what tell me what you think joy behar uses as an excuse for this immigration you won't be able to guess because it just comes boom, from mars thank you guys for subscribing in unprecedented numbers and commenting and giving us a thumbs up we have the best engagement that means we're a community but we're going to start on the immigration double standard with liberals. But frankly, you know, I think we need to find, and, and we've dealt with this before. I, I lived in, uh, in Miami. I was a migrant, an immigrant in Miami in the 80s. You'll remember when we had the Marielle boat lift. Yes. 125,000 Cubans yeah. came in a matter of six months. The Cubans wow. came over. This is part of Reagan's amnesty that he offered. He was like saying one time amnesty, you could be a citizen and then we're cutting off the borders. It didn't work that way. It didn't work. He was wrong on it. And America has done a really bad job on our borders. But she's just saying, look, 125,000 people came all at once and it was a disaster. And she's, this is related to New York where the Texas uh, state has been busing them up to New York and dumping them out. And now New York is overflowing, all their facilities are overdone. It puts tremendous stress on, on, on a city, on a community, on the social services. There is no city in America that is better equipped to handle this overage than New York. So if New York is overflowing and done, it's not like some other city is gonna do a better job. Yeah. Okay, New York is a sanctuary city, so the, Abbott's sending them up there. That's where they belong. Get them all up there. DeSantis is sending them up there. It's a sanctuary city. This is what you guys yes. voted for. You, the view, voted for them. And people who disagreed with you, you called racist. And frankly, uh, you deserve all of these immigrants. They never thought they would come. They always thought they'd stay down in Arizona and Texas. See, so they're like, oh, yeah, we'll have open border policies and we'll have sanctuary cities because we're up in san francisco we're up in new york and they're not going to come up here well now they're coming up there they're being bussed up there now they're going hey we don't have the facilities we're overflowing we're in trouble they need to be resettled elsewhere oh wow. yeah you made it in on the boat but you're saying for you guys you need to be resettled get out that's how liberals work guys that's how democrats do it notice she's saying you need to be resettled somewhere but um but it's not anything racist on her part why why should i be accused of racism if i say they should be resettled from texas to new york and she's going no no they need to be resettled from new york to somewhere else maybe to nebraska or north dakota or oklahoma well why isn't that something to do with race? Mm. That, they need right, to, they need to be out. We're this right, massive yeah. country. And then there's the blonde one. I can't even remember her name. She's all, in this massive country, they need to be out. No, I say pile them all up in New York and only New York. <laughs> I want millions of these immigrants in New York. Just New York. Pile it on. Those people voted for this stuff in unprecedented numbers. They can eat it. But now comes Joy Behar's moment of genius. This is a a brain fart that is so dumb, I don't even know how to respond. So I want to hear from you guys. You ready? It's time for another Joy Bay fart. Well, and it's only going to get worse with global warming and climate change because people can't live in certain parts of this world. What wow. parts of the world can people not live in anymore? There's no such thing. The people aren't moving from Mexico to here because of global warming, you moron. This is a religion to them. They apply it to everything. Look, if this whole country drained of illegal immigrants, they'd blame it on global warming and climate change. If they come in, they're gonna blame it on it because all we know is no matter what happens, they've got their pet answer. And Joy Behar cannot make it make sense. Mm. I'd love to hear someone in the chat Explain to me how that makes sense exactly. There's no mass immigration. That's not, 
It's not caused by weather changes. It is caused by economic changes, and that's why they're all coming here. Joy. Thank you all for subscribing. Thank you all for watching and participating. I'm Doug in exile. Wow, this was interesting. Um, I mean, I, I, I'm sure lots of people um, are excited that the view is back on air. And um, honestly, I still don't get it how people sit down to watch the view because, or what the ladies on the view because. I haven't actually seen anything that they shared that was uh, quite insightful or knowledgeable. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, because uh, when they share conversations or share opinions on subject matters, is most likely how they're going to criticize something or they are definitely going to look for a way to um, give their biased opinion on it to make it look like, oh, you sharing your opinion on that you are in the wrong while they are in the right and it's always going to be about them that oh their opinions are right so you don't have anything to say and you just have to stick with their opinion i mean that's the wrong way to view things or view um how um subject matters should be deliberated on but <clears throat> again who are we kidding these are what these ladies do and people are people kind of enjoy these things but let me know what your thoughts are in the comment down below i've heard a bit about the um new york immigration and everything and how they're moving immigrants to new york and everything um i actually really haven't read up about it because i don't have much information about it but i really love your contribution on that what are your thoughts about the immigration and people moving to new york do you think um is overly too crowded and they should be moved over to somewhere else or um you're actually right with what um dog said that they should be um settled in new york as um as is the sanctuary ground or whatever i really love your honest contribution on that you can also share your thoughts about the ladies on the view what are your honest contribution are your thoughts about the ladies on the view i would really love it love you it if you would share in the comment down below i mean it's different for different people and everybody have got different opinions regarding that you can also share other useful information you think might be really helpful and until next time see you in the next video